At FEMA Region 5, we have many unique geographic and demographic indicators that must be considered when forming successful emergency plans. That is why our GIS REP program initiative is so important. Our portal allows stakeholders with a valid need to know to view sensitive but unclassified critical infrastructure data they don't normally have access to. This cutting-edge initiative assists communities to plan and prepare for commercial nuclear power plant incidents. This type of preparedness starts with having the best data available to support planning and decision-making should the need arise. So with this initiative, we're able to pull real-time for not only the state planners and decision-makers, but also for us back here at the Fed. We're able to put all these pieces together real-time and have a little bit more ground truth than we would have if we did not have the initiative up and running and operational in our uh, EOCs. Our primary stakeholders in this initiative have been our six states, our Region 5, our 31 risk counties, and several uh, of our federal partners uh, as well as uh, local county and tribal. So the GIS REP initiative is a REP initiative that started uh, in 2016 um, with Todd Lawson and myself. Um, and what it is, it's a collaborative GIS effort between us and the states. The ultimate goal would be to have state and locals be using the web applications we made from the GIS initiative in real life situations or even in exercises to perform analysis, to do situational awareness, things like that. So it's basically a GIS um, platform for the state and locals to use and for us to use within FEMA to make better decisions in case something were to happen. It feels good. Um, no one, in, at least in FEMA rep, has ever done anything like this. If something that we did could lead to that much change throughout the agency, that would be really, really cool. Minnesota feels it's very important to have a tool like this available. Access to this um, data portal will give us um, faster access to data, it'll give us more access to data, and it also gives more people access to data other than just GIS professionals. Having access to the most up-to-date information is critical for us when it comes to decision making. Um, if we didn't have this data, we would be operating under assumptions. Uh, the state of Minnesota got involved with the GIS initiative right from the beginning and one of the goals that we had was to try to find more information about what is in our emergency planning zones around the nuclear power plants based on the critical infrastructure and in particular the ag facilities that are within those areas. Now with our access to the portal we're able to take a look at critical infrastructure and agricultural information pre-event and allows us to be much better prepared to lean forward and anticipate the impact should there ever be a release from a nuclear generating plant. Well, we've, we've always been looking for more information, um, different layers that we could have uh, around our power plants that, that would give us um, more information about the public, uh, where we can, we can put it up onto a smart board, we can capture the image if we need to. Wow, this thing could really grow and we could really start to add some fantastic layers that I think could be beneficial for many other things uh, across our program and many other programs. So this has just been kind of an, an opening foray into building a much larger platform for the state of Ohio. So this initiative was extremely important, not only for the, uh, the state of Wisconsin, but actually for the, the community. Um, those local county emergency management directors who have to do federal planning uh, for a radiological exercise, uh, we're sharing this application to them, and then they're actually sharing it with their first responders and really the whole radiological community, including the nuclear power plants. They've uh, seen this demo and they're all for it, and it's a, another great situational awareness tool. To be a part of this was, was a great opportunity because I, I'm really seeing how, how GIS is is forming and, and really helping uh, the, the field of public safety, meaning emergency management. FEMA and everybody a part of this group has allowed me to meet so many new people where we all have the one goal of, of, the, of really enhancing our radiological emergency preparedness. My name is Mike Casey. I'm the uh, Director of Technological Hazards Division of uh, FEMA. I happen to think this represents FEMA and rep at its very best. 
here's something that uses an existing tool, an existing platform, and, uh, and it leverages that to save money for us. This entire thing aligns perfectly with FEMA's strategic plan. In coordinating emergency management efforts across Region 5, there are many challenges that we face. This is why our GIS REP initiative is so important. To have our tribes, states, and local government officials, as well as the private sector, join in on this initiative is another step in having a more prepared and resilient nation.